heard you looking for a plug. Huh? Who gon' have what you need? The price is gon' be right every time. Heard you looking for a plug. Ooh. Pick up the phone when you call. Put you on your feet. He just wanna see you long. For a plug. Hey. He gon' front what you buy. Put that tax on your dog. He ain't heard gon' try. Serious, he don't play, he ain't got what you need is one phone for the way, hey. What it do, what it do, Grasshopper fam. We're back with another episode of the Tapped In With Grasshopper podcast. I'm your host, Grasshopper. Uh, real quick, I want to uh, let you guys know if you feel like this content is helpful. If you like it, feel like it's informative, go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, share. All that good shit. Hit that bell at the top right corner. By the way, donations are super appreciated. Contributions. You can hit the Venmo at the bottom of the screen if you're fucking with the channel. Sponsorships are available for your brand also. If you want to get your brand, your logo, your product in front of some real industry eyes, go ahead. Shoot me a DM. I am Zach Powers on Instagram. Today, we got a very special guest. My boy, Franco, Cali Franco in the motherfucking building. Yes, sir. Yes, How you sir. feeling? How you feeling? I am very appreciative today. I feel great. Uh, I just want to say thank you for inviting me, you know, today. Uh, Hell yeah. Hopper, you know. Uh, Hell yeah. You already know, man. It's always good to have good people and good vibes in the building. So, uh, you know, a little bit about Franco. He's a uh, upcoming musical artist. He's doing, uh, he's got some hip hop, some singing, some R&B. Uh, what, uh, you know, what, what other genres are you in right now? Uh, I want to say rock, soft rock, uh, some country, uh, pop. I'm really trying to open up, you know, to doing stuff that I'm not really comfortable with doing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Versatile, baby. Versatile. Hey, Matt, you able to get that, uh, that ashtray from out there? Yep. Um. Cool. Today's topics, uh, we're going to discuss music, travel, inspiring in the industry. And uh, you live in L.A. right now? I don't, but soon, hopefully soon. Where are you at right now? I'm in the Bay, the in Bay. Vallejo. The Vallejo. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What's that like? What's Vallejo life like? Uh, hey, Vallejo life That's- is really country, and it is, is, it's like an eight-mile radius. The city isn't that big. That's where Six Flags is located. It's really nothing to do but Six Flags, to be honest. If they didn't have Six Flags, that city would probably be burnt down. No right? shit. <laughs> no shit. Uh, you know what? One thing I one, one thing I know about Vallejo is uh, they got a, a gang of weed stores right now. That's yeah. That's all I see, bro. Like on every corner is is more than any liquor store. Like bro, th- this brand Quickies pre rolls that we're smoking on right now. Um, Back in 2019, I had this shit in over 110 stores, least Jesus. licensed legal stores. We're paying taxes on the shit. Yeah. And, uh, bro, I remember Vallejo was a nice spot to make sales. Like, I was picking yeah. up custies in Vallejo like crazy. Like, the, the, the shops in Vallejo were easy to sell to. Man, there ain't nothing else to do but smoke. <laughs> ain't nothing else to do but smoke and go on roller coasters. So, uh, definition of an artist is a person who practices any of the various creative arts, such as a sculptor, novelist, poet, or filmmaker. What do you think of that? That's dope. I think that's true, actually. You know, But I think an artist, to me, is just um, a person who's uh, painting their vision in their way. You know? Uh, you know, not letting it be forced or anything. It's really organic, and it's just them. Uh, some people, I mean, but you can even have fake artists. So, I mean, you know, everything's artists at this point. For time. sure. <laughs> I like your perspective, dude. And I share some of the same views because I feel like everybody's an artist at, at something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not everybody's going to be, you know, artist doesn't mean that you're good at drawing. Nah. You know what I mean? Like I'm saying. you could be an artist in a ton yeah. of things. Yeah. I feel like my art is in a, is, is, is in business. Business, I can see, man. You're doing very well. Thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks, thanks, man. Shit, you didn't see all the hard years and hard grinding I did to get here, man. It's been a long okay. fucking road, man. Honestly, I feel like I'm finally warmed up and I'm finally in the race. That's how I feel now. Like I'm past the warm up stage. I feel like I'm I'm ready to go, dog. I'm yeah, like yeah. I'm already off the starting line. Yeah, nah, 
This is a beautiful place. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, so uh, very you know, warming, guys. If you haven't been here, that's right, baby. Where you at right now? Grasshoppers. Yes, yes, grasshoppers. Right. Let's get it, man. So, uh, yeah, you know, art it can be in anything, bro. Anybody could be an artist. Like even these chicks that do their makeup, you know, that's that's their art, man. They, they be out here like they doing killing it on YouTube <clears throat> too, <laughs> showing other people. Yeah. Right. So yeah, artists. Practicing the creative arts. Um, so you sing rap, uh, and you said uh, you're like getting into rock, trying to get in. What else was it? What was you say? Pop, country. Yeah, I'm trying to really open up. Bro, imagine if you fucking, hey, bro, imagine if you like all these years, all this grinding, all this shit that you've been doing all these years. Right. And imagine if you fucking blew up off a country song, dog. That'd be fire, bro. I'd be <laughs> excited and happy. Don't even be mad. Right. But would <laughs> it like, be a trip, dog? I, You're like, what the I accomplished fuck? the goal. The goal was <coughs> to get that award. You know, that's the Grammy. Just to blow yeah. up. That's yeah. what we want to get top. Yeah. We want that we want to take first place. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Be as best as we can. Yeah. In any oh, way. Feel it, dude. Possible. Feel it. You know, there's this uh I was I've been reading this management book and uh <laughs> a strategy called Blue Ocean Strategy. It's a, it's a strategy that um, people who study this kind of stuff have developed and, um, you know, it, it's a strategy used widely in business. Blue ocean strategy is a strategy where you go into markets where it's easy to compete, where there's not much competition. So that way you, you know, you do really well in it. Yeah. You, you're basically, instead of going into a market or industry, where there's a lot of competition. These people elect to go into markets that are not as competitive. That way they have a higher chance of succeeding. Mm, that's nice. So, uh, yeah, man. Um, let's see. Any other genres that you'd like to get into besides uh, besides country, rock? Uh, I've been trying to do this R and B lately, like melodizing more on the songs, harmonizing yeah. uh, the melodic flow. You know, that's that's what's popular now anyway. But uh, I'm just trying to open up, you know, my horizons because right now I, I used to just rap. I was like really on the hip hop vibe, like Joey Badass, J. Cole, Kendrick. And now I'm just like, oh, let me try the little babies and Yeah. You know, let me just yeah. play with it. Yeah. See what it do. I mean it's not, now I'm actually enjoying it. Like yeah. <laughs> it's some difference. A different That's thing. what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, you, you know I make a little music? Yeah. You did? Yeah. <laughs> what's up, dog? Get on the track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Good dog. Collab, man. Mm -hmm. Get out we'll get out here, drop something. Yes, sir. We'll drop an LA banger. Let's do it. All right, the show. I'm ready. All right. Um, so, as an artist, you ever ha did you ever like have to take singing lessons or classes or any kind of like education or schooling on that? Uh, so actually, uh, I want to say like singing. I was actually in the choir like fifth grade. It was mandatory that we go. Like it was, it was in Jersey. My parents was in the military, so when we moved to Jersey, it was this school. Uh, I went to it was like maybe a couple blocks away I, I could walk it was walking distance but uh like we had dance class it was singing it was it was cool uh and I got more into music as we moved into Indiana sixth grade I went to play the drums but my mom played you know forced me to play the violin no shit you were yeah. like I'm gonna play drums she's like yeah, no she's she like, like put this violin yeah, in she hand. was like that's basic man like yeah she was like the drums cool you know Let's, let's put you on these strings. And then I was laughing. like You know, at first I was laughing like, ah, you know. Yeah, like, what the I, hell I, is this? Yeah, right? and then I was upset too. Like, I got to carry this dumb ass shit around. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was upset on the bus. Like, <laughs> yo, I really got this dumb ass instrument. <laughs> but over the time, I'm like, yo, this is dope. Like, Really? You know. So you you can play the violin. Yeah. I, have, I own an electric violin as we speak today. That's hard as fuck. Yo, you got to put out a fucking full blown yeah. violin track. Bro. You know it's funny. I used to be shy about it. Like, ah, oh, somebody gonna judge me. Like, how the hell are you rapping and playing a violin? Like, that's that's mania or weird, you know. But now I'm like, nah, that shit's dope. Now that yeah. I speak. Fuck yeah, dog. You have dude. You could really take off with that shit. Like, that's 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 neat niche. Like, blue ocean strategy, dog. Come right. on, hey, hey, yeah. at its finest, <laughs> right here, dog. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you're you're about to go in. You can you got the opportunity to go into a market. It's like you know what I'm saying so not competitive, right? I mean, I'm sure it is competitive. I'm sure there's a lot of violinists, but you got a hip hop swag. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You can be in hip hop. Like yeah. the people that know violin, they don't. That's not the music they're into. They're into like violin music. Yeah. 
feel me? So you're into hip-hop. Strings is important. And you got this skill, so, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's still, that's, that's fucking tight. Um, so what, what, uh, what music artists you fucking with right now? Like as in, t- hey, oh, Dear like Silas. Huh? Uh, Dear Silas. Uh, he's, he's a hip hop artist. Dear Silas? Yeah, he's cool. Like he's a little weird, but I like it. Like, just like, you know, I'm just tired of listening to, you know, I ain't trying to knock nobody or nothing, but you know, the trap music, everybody talking about the same thing. So it's like, damn, when I listen to Dear Silas, or when I listen to some Kanye or Drake, it's like they really talking about some life, current event shit. Like I can relate to. That's uh, fucking tight. Hey, trap I've never, music. I've honestly never. You feel me? Trap music. Time. I can't really relate to because I, you know what I mean. I mean, I I enjoy it, but not everything. I I can't say I shot somebody. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's just, it's <laughs> like, so far you can go. With yeah, it, you know I, mean? I don't pop pills. I don't, I don't sip lean. So it's like, how can I relate to this? So I'm gonna listen to something that's more smooth, laid back, and just smoke a blunt. How realistic, man. I like I like how real you are with it, you know, because yeah. a lot of people are trying to be shit that they're not. Right. They're trying to say I, that they're this or they're that, and it's, it's not like that at all. So, uh, yeah. you know, it's just a lot easier being able to go and you're, you know, like how how you doing? It's just less resistance, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's less resistance. It's chill, man. It's a vibe. Living life is a vibe. Yeah, for Don't sure. Don't force it. For Don't sure. Don't force that. it. Don't rush it. Yeah, Lead you know? a process. Exactly. Just learn what it is that you're about and, yeah. and roll with that and capitalize Look in the on mirror it. and talk to yourself. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, who's, who's, who's inspiring you right now? Uh, inspiring me as in? Um, you know, I think, I think it takes a deal of inspiration to be able to create, you know. Um, and, uh, it, it, it was, for, it's for sure Nip. Like, Nip. I was following him since since 09, 2010. And what's funny was like when I was listening to his mixtapes, he used to always rap about his cutlass, right? His 85 cutlass. And you know, I had an 85 Monte Carlo, not knowing at the time, you know what I mean? Like, and I used to I was like listening, like, oh shit, cars is kind of similar. I'm vi- I'm fucking with it. So it made me want to drive my, you know, my Chevy more. But um, and then as you know, I started watching his interviews and what he was really on and what his movement was. It was just like, you know, it was an eye opener for me because it was just like, you know, he trying to switch up, you know, tell people like this is really what it is and it's not this. Mm-hmm. You know, I do this, but this is really who I am. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Are there any uh, any musical artists out there right now that you're like playing over and over and over in your uh, CD player right now? On your one of the music apps, K Camp, K Camp, K Camp, yeah, yeah, nice. K Camp. He got the music for the girls. You know, I like the women for sure. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, hey, this is the vibe right here. Every there time the, I put K Camp on, the girls go crazy. I'll be like, yeah, there you go, yeah, there you go, show. for sure. Yeah, I fuck with that. Um. You know, man, I, I'm I'm a store owner, and it's like, I just uh, I aspire. There's a couple things I got, a couple inspirations I got out there right now. Like me as a store owner, I really look up to this dude named Burner and who owns Cookies. Mm, you know, yeah. because he's got the store thing on lock, dog. He does back to back, just dispensaries on dispensaries, and he's nationwide. Yes, so he is. It's like F O one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, for F O one. So he's he's somebody who's like really out there inspiring me right now. Yeah, that shit uh, took off, man. And that's that's right. <laughs> I, th- I think a lot of people think about, oh, it'd be cool to get there, but like, dude, this grasshopper brand, we're about to really take it there. About to take it there. Yeah. What's up with a strain drop, dog? You ever thought about making hey, your own brand? So I, I was thinking. Well, thanks to uh, my manager Tammy, you know, uh, I got a, a logo, and she was like looking at it, and she was like, "Yo, this would probably be dope for like a weed strain." And I was looking at it, I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> like, we might be on this. Side. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, Callie for sure. Franco Strand. That should be hard. Wouldn't it, though? Nah, for real. What would you put in there? Like, some OG or some runs? Or? Like, I think some OG. some OG. I think OG smoked the best. I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I was just saying this yesterday, for real. <laughs> for real. I, I, smoked, I smoked a blunt of some, of some of this OG, and I was just like, Bro, I just like the the high on yeah. the OGs way better, bro. It's way better. Way better, dog. It's a vibe for yes. sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
I fuck with that. The other homie who came on recently, Adam Ill, shout out Adam Ill. We uh, he was like talking about sativas. Mm-hmm. He's just like, hey, I, I, I fuck with sativas, like, yeah. um, like lemon hazes type shit. And uh, I'm like, yo, that's cool, man. It's cool to hear different perspectives. You know, yeah. all the people I'm around, just yeah. all gas, all gelato, yeah. gas, all runs. Yeah. Now, the sativas <laughs> is cool, though, because, like, I was smoking sativa early in the morning to get me up going, you know, because it's an upper. So, like, I'm ready to start my day. Mm-hmm. And actually, it feels good. It's a vibe, like, you know, because, you know, because it makes me lazy. I eat more. You mm-hmm. know, I'm slow. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, hell no. Nah. You, uh, yeah. do you Do you smoke every day? I do. You wake and bake? Yeah. What's your normal wake and bake routine like? The wake and bake. Got to brush your teeth first. You okay. P- hey. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't brush your teeth and you licking all in the blunt, oh my all God. that shit stuck in your teeth from yesterday. <laughs> Yo, yo, hey, yo I know, bet there's a bunch yo, of dirty motherfuckers yeah, that are out there thinking, like, oh, shit, I do like, that. Bounce that ass, like, come on, bro. <laughs> Go brush your teeth, bro. Floss. Hey, for real. And Go then, brush like, and floss, yeah. and then get whatever, yes. whatever you're going to do, go yes. do. And, you know, I pour a glass of orange juice, if not store-bought already in a bottle, and I go on the porch and smoke. There you go, baby. Yeah. That's a, that's, that's a dope-ass uh, wake-and-bake routine right there. Yeah, that's like, cool. It's simple, yeah. But please brush your teeth. Okay, come <laughs> on. Please. Please. You ever got too high? Hey, hey so. Uh, yes, I have. This is an <laughs> embarrassing story. It's all good, dog. Let it out. You're in a safe space. <laughs> and I, I see. <laughs> if these walls can talk. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out, Kendrick. Um, <laughs> um, so. I, was, I, I used to uh, live in Alameda, California. If people don't know, it's like south of Oakland. It's like secluded from Oakland. Like they made their own island. So uh, I used to live out there. I was working at this uh, AMF bowling alley down the street from my job. I mean, from my house. And uh, I was smoking with some guys, They, you know, some security guards. They're cool. I've been knowing them for a couple of years. And then, like, I knew one of them was, like, on some salvia. You know what that is? Yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, and, but yeah. you buy it by, like, however strong you are. So I'm like, yo, I don't know how to roll. I, I was, like, 18. So I'm like, I don't know how to roll. So I'm going to ask, bro, if he can roll for me. So he's like, yeah, I'm, I'll roll for you. So at the end of the day, you know, it was, you know, in our shifts, we in the back of the truck chilling, slapping, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm about to, you know, smoke, go to bed, do this shit all over again. Hell no, it, it didn't happen that way. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so what we happened? smoking, and then, like, he passed it again, smoking. I'm like, hey, I'm cool. Like, I started feeling friends. I'm like, what the hell? Like, what the fuck is going on, right? So I get out to, I'm like, yo, I'm about to go to Walgreens. It's like literally down the street. So I'm, I'm about to walk. It's like two minutes away. I'm about to walk down there. So I get to Walgreens. I felt like everybody was watching me. So I threw the fucking weed and ran out of fucking Walgreens. I go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> this is no A. I go Yo, to the like beach. That's like such an extreme. Like Walmart I, I, I or ran Walgreens back to, to the, the beach. beach. Not nah, yeah, nah, because like Alameda has their own beach. This is dope. Uh, but I go to the beach and I call my grandfather. I'm like, Yo, I think I can't breathe. Oh I God. think you got to come get me. Man, I get to the house. My grandmother like, man, just go to bed. The next day, she's like, I knew you was high. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, so it lasted yeah. that long? Yeah. Really? It was a, it was a everybody, crazy I've trip. Because everybody ever used uh, It was like 30-minute trip. Yeah, that's what that's yeah. what everybody I know that has tried salvia has is it's like a 30-minute yeah. thing. Like, and then it, and then you go back to normal, but yours was longer than 30 minutes? Yeah, it was like 30 minutes. Oh, it was about yeah, 30 minutes? Yeah. So you were already back in the house within yeah. 30 minutes. <laughs> that shit was crazy, bro. That shit. Yeah, bro, that sounds crazy. Damn. Hey, you got way too fucking high. Nah, I did. I, knew that <laughs> I tell everybody this story all the time. Like, yo, that shit is crazy. Hey, good thing you made it back. Good thing you made it safe. Because, shit, I, the stories I've heard, people go nuts on that shit. I guess yeah, I've seen the reviews level. on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, did you listen to Kanye album? I haven't. What about Drake? I haven't. You're not alone, brother. 
I feel like you know, it's gonna be the same from the last album. Nothing different. Yeah. Yeah. I know I might listen to it just uh, I just haven't yet. Yeah. Yeah, man. I should definitely try to do a uh, string collab or something. Hell yeah, man. Grasshoppers, Cali Franco. I would love that. We, we some fire OG, dog. Yeah, some fire OG. Some gas OG. Let's do it. <sighs> OG. Let's do it some indoor. We'll get some super indoor. No trip. I got this. Stuff crust. I got the plug, bro. Stuff crust, stuff crust, stuff crust. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, what's next for Franco? What's next for Cali Franco? Uh, so, uh, the label, uh, TCG, we're projecting, uh, forecasting to drop some singles, you know, soon. Um, you know, I just recently signed to TCG, uh, which is Tammy Goslin and Chaz Hayes. Uh, they running the show. Uh, I want to say thank you guys too for giving me a chance. Um, but yeah, um, shout out to the whole team. <laughs> yeah. The whole team, <laughs> you know, shout out to LB, shout out to, you know, chop, shout out to Keith, Amanda. I don't know you, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Miss Vicky. Yo, that's the gang in here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shout out to everybody. Uh, so where, <coughs> where where can everybody find you right, <laughs> right now? Uh, you can find me on IG uh, at SF Cali Franco. S-F-C-A-L-I-F-R-A-N-C-O. Uh, I took all my music down on platforms. Uh, but if you follow me on IG... You'll be updated when I'm dropping and upcoming shows and everything else. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hell yeah, man. Well, shit. Uh, it's good meeting you, man. It's good to have you on. You know. Uh, let me I shout out to Barbara, too, for uh, setting this up, you know. Barbara Sanchez. Yeah, 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 you know, that's my publicist, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Barbara's tight. Out. Yeah, she's hella dope. Yeah. Amazing she does her woman. thing. Hustling. Tammy's amazing, too. Yeah. Jazz is amazing, too. Yeah. LB's amazing too. Hold on, Vicky's amazing too. Uh, <laughs> you know, she has a single out actually, uh, if you didn't know. Uh, she's charting right now. She's been uh charting for four weeks, I think. Uh I forgot her what's what's the name? Play too much. If you haven't downloaded Play Too Much, please download it. It is a nice song. For sure. Yes, it really, really is. For sure. There you go, man. There you go. Well, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, you already know, man. You guys all been tapped in. We're tapping out. Yes, sir. Gone.